The Snake River here at Shoshone Falls has taken on a bright green hue from a chelated copper product. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, and crews have began treatment for invasive quagga mussels on the Snake River. We're running product uh, through the powerhouse at Shoshone Falls, as well as some over the falls, and the boats are doing some treatment of the deep pool beneath the falls. Treatment to kill invasive mussels on the Snake River is underway. The water turning bright green as crews release chelated copper product into several locations. ISDA Deputy Director Lloyd Knight told me about the agency's approach. But it is one that, that does go after a lot of aquatic life as we feed it through the system. Um, we're, we're dosing it at a, at a level that takes care of any adults that are in there, uh, as well as more than what is needed to take care of villagers. And we plan that so that obviously whatever adult colonies we may have in the system, we take care of those. After last year's initial treatment, Knight said the agency made some improvements for this year. You know, I think we understand a lot better how the river behaves with the treatment. Uh, this is a very unique section of the river. Uh, geologically, you have uh, obviously the features of, of a couple of different sets of falls. You also have just the geology of deep holes and pools within the river system. Um, it's not just one simple straight piece of water. After adding the chelated copper product, crews monitor its dilution. To be effective, adult mussels have to be exposed to a certain level for a certain amount of time. So that's a big part of what they're doing for the next 10 days. We saw a significant reduction in the number of vessels from last year to this year. So we're pleased with how effective the treatment was. Uh, it's not surprising we have to do a second treatment, but obviously next year we'll have to continue that monitoring uh, to make sure we got them for good. This river is a lifeblood of the state for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. We use it for agriculture, hydropower, recreation. We sustain uh, aquatic systems, life. Um, we want to make sure we, we get this addressed so that it doesn't impact all of those things. And we appreciate everybody's support and, and understanding as we work through that. This initial treatment is planned to last about 10 days. A second treatment is being planned for November. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton at Shoshone Falls for Idaho News 6.